Good afternoon, my friends. I hope all of you are having an awesome, fantastic day, and hello from Disney's Hollywood Studios. There's quite a few new 50th anniversary treats from around the park. Today, I want to try a few of those treats because they look really good. There's also some park updates that I want to talk about. I've also been hearing that the crowds lately have been pretty low, so I'm curious to see how true that is. I'm excited. I hope you guys are. Let's go do this. And just like that, here we are inside of Hollywood Studios. I will say right off the bat, it does seem to be a little crowded, but don't judge a book by its cover just yet. Take a look at the guide map. So each different park has a different 50th anniversary guide map. And here's Studios. I like this one. There's two really big park updates that I want to talk about in this video. The first one, I'm going to head over to Rock and Roller Coaster because that's pretty big. The second is over at Rise of the Resistance. Oh wow, yeah, the park seems to be a little busy at the moment. Now keep in mind, the park has been open for about two hours now, but here's the end of the line for Tower of Terror and Rock and Roller Coaster side by side. It does seem a little crazy, but both lines seem to be moving at a pretty good pace. And this is the reason why I wanted to hurry up and get over here to Rock and Roller Coaster because the giant guitar is completely under scrim. And we don't really know what's going on with this attraction right now. It could just be a refurbishment or it could be getting a complete retheme because I've been hearing the contract between Disney and Aerosmith has ended. So we don't really know what's happening. It's still rock and roller coaster of course but who knows what's about to happen but they've been saying for years now that the contract was about to end so i don't think anybody really knows what's really happening here for anybody that's wondering about the disney wi-fi for disney genie and disney genie plus the wi-fi is pretty bad today at hollywood studios nothing is working it's going on noon so it is prime lunchtime right now so i wonder if that has to do with the reason why the app is running so slow right now i've been messing with this app for about five minutes now and it's just not working so i'm going to give up on mobile ordering right now which sucks because if mobile order isn't working you have to wait in line and the lines are very long right now because it's lunchtime so We'll come back to this in just a little bit, I guess. After I finished ending that last clip, I walked away and I thought to myself, Dev, I'm hungry, let's order something. So I thought to walk over here by Indiana Jones, this is where I would always come to get boarding passes to ride Rise of the Resistance when you had to be inside of the park at Park Open because the Wi-Fi is just better over in this direction. And sure enough, I was able to connect my app worked and I was able to mobile order some food, so we have about 20 minutes until my food is ready. I was about to head over to Rise of the Resistance because our next park update is Rise of the Resistance is now completely standby, so you don't have to wake up at 7 a.m. and try to get boarding passes for you and your family. You can just come to the park whenever you want, hop in line, it's all standby, which is much needed and I'm so glad it's finally standby. However, get this, it's currently down right now, so I'm gonna have to wait, but I'm sure Rise will come back up anytime now. Finally, I did head over to Guest Relations because I did have a question about Disney Genie Plus, and I know a lot of you guys did because you left comments in my last video, and that question was, if you buy a Disney Genie Plus, can you ride the same ride multiple times throughout the day? because I was unsure of it. So I went to Guest Relations. Two of the cast members were pretty unsure about it and they did say they have training tonight. So they should know or have that knowledge within the week. Hey there, it's Future Dev. So I just spoke with a manager here at Disney's Hollywood Studios and I asked him the same question about Disney Genie Plus. If you buy that, will you be able to use it multiple times for the same attraction? He said he's under the impression that you can only use Disney Genie once per attraction. So again, I don't think we'll fully know 100% until October 19th, but he did say he is under the impression you can only use it once per attraction per day. And then if you want to write it again, you'll just have to wait and stand by. Here's a few more of the 50th anniversary statues. We have R2-D2 and BB-8. Look at this guy. I'm glad he's here too. There's Edna. I think she's checking out my outfit. I don't think she likes it. <laughs> I'm also really happy to see Joe Gardner here as well from Seoul. Sebastian and Flounder from The Little Mermaid. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and head back to Rosie's All-American Cafe to pick up my mobile order. I got the Disney's Hollywood Studios 50th Celebration Sandwich Cookie. This is celebrating the 50th anniversary with a pretzel shortbread cookie sandwich with strawberry jam and peanut butter chocolate fudge. And this was $5.29. I also got some water, but look at the new 50th anniversary park cups here. Those are pretty cool. Here we go. That's pretty good. It tastes almost like a strawberry pop tart. I would get this again. 
It's not too heavy. You can really taste the strawberry jam. You can kind of taste the peanut butter, but you can really taste the shortbread. I will say now that I'm getting to the middle of the sandwich, I can really taste the peanut butter and the chocolate, and I really like those two flavors. And then you still have the strawberry jam mix in there. I'm really happy with this dessert. I'm glad I decided to get it. I wanted to point out, if you guys are in the park at nighttime, be sure to come over here and check out Beacons of Magic on the Tower of Terror. I've seen photos and it looks really awesome on the Tower of Terror. I'll be sure to come back within the next week or so to record it for you guys. I stopped inside to see if I can find any more of the new 50th anniversary merchandise and check out these wishables. You have Mickey and Minnie. Check out the bag. Oh, look at Goofy and Dale, Pluto, Daisy, and Donald. These would be fun to collect. New arrival, this just in. These hats are fun for $29.99. I like the lime green. There's a sweater, and this is $52.99. Very soft. There's a tank top. Oh, from the Lion King. $34.99. I like that. There's another one. Oh, it's the four parks. You have Space Mountain, the Monorail, Tree of Life, Epcot, Spaceship Earth, Cinderella Castle, and Tower of Terror. Oh, look at this one from Winnie the Pooh. And the store that I was just in is called Once Upon a Time. It's on the way to Tower of Terror right outside of the Beauty and the Beast show. Oh my goodness. Look at this awesome Disney shirt. I may have to get this new arrival. $36.99. There's nothing on the back, but it's very soft. Wow, and there's an Owl's Toy Barn shirt. <laughs> okay. All right, Disney, I see you guys stepping up. Here's the new 50th anniversary Dooney and Burke collection. Check it out. This one is $268. And the smaller one is $198. I like the tag that you get with the purse here and next to the purses you have the dress for the 50th anniversary for $128 looks like they have all kinds of different sizes here in stock and that store was called glitz and glamour it's right next to once upon a time I spy a new Mickey balloon for the 50th anniversary with the new logo these are $15 oh it's like the iridescent color oh that's awesome Thank you for showing me, I appreciate it. I'm now right outside of the Chinese theater, which is Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway to get a 50th anniversary churro. It's called the Glimmer and Shimmer Churro for $7. It looks pretty tasty. It does smell really good, I agree. Everybody's saying how good it smells. I could be 100% wrong here, but I just noticed Powerades are more expensive than sodas now by 50 cents, and then bottled waters are $3.50. So I think they changed and updated the prices, but I'm not 100% sure. This smells so good. By the way, look at the paper it came in for the anniversary. Now, I didn't really get a good description to what's on this churro. From what I've kind of read, it's just a basic churro with like icing and little vanilla dots or gold dots on there. But other than that, it's just like a standard churro. But Let's try it. The first bite was delicious, but as the sun kind of came out, I did notice some gold sparkles on the churro. So here's my honest review on the anniversary churro that I just had. It was really good. It was very tasty, but I will say it was just basically a basic, simple Disney churro. Very delicious, but I didn't really notice anything else besides like the little bit of icing you had, the gold flakes, and then whatever little chocolate dots that was on top of the churro. But other than that, it was just a simple Disney churro. I don't know if I would get that one again. I feel like I would just get a regular churro. I'm now heading back to Toy Story Land to have a ride on Slinky Dog, hopefully. Here is the current end of the line for Toy Story Mania. It's uh, touching the line for coffee and pastries. I guess I'll go ahead and say it now. The rumor about the parks not being busy at all is false right now, at least for today, which is a Monday afternoon. But maybe last week, it was less crowded, but over this last weekend and today, it's pretty crazy. I made it to the end of the line to ride Slinky Dog Dash. There he goes. I really want to ride this coaster. It says it's 110 minutes, but how you doing, man? <laughs> Thank you for being here. I just got a awesome magical moment from one of you guys, a viewer. Um, I can't really say nothing else, but you know who you are. Thank you so much for making this happen. I, I was not expecting this.
got a friend in me. Something else about Disney Genie Plus here at Disney's Hollywood Studios, I am kind of shocked that Slinky Dog did not make the individual Lightning Lane list, but Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway did, and of course Star Wars Rise of the Resistance, which I am happy about because that means I could ride Slinky Dog Dash more. I don't know, I'm just a little shocked just because how busy this attraction always is, but again, I think it's a good thing. We still don't have any kind of new updates regarding the Toy Story restaurant, but it is going to be right here, but I'm not seeing any kind of new updates or I haven't even heard Disney talk much about it. Here's a different point of view to the Toy Story restaurant so you guys can see kind of how big the restaurant will be. Okay, before I hop in line to ride Rise of the Resistance, which that queue line looks very long because the queue is all the way out here, I'm gonna stop over at Pizza Rizzo for my last treat that I wanna try today. Look at the new signage for Muppets Haunted Mansion, which is now on Disney+. Plus. I haven't seen it yet, but I plan to watch it before Halloween. I just placed my mobile order here at Pizza Rizzo. I got the Muppets Haunted Mansion Eclair. This is dark chocolate filled chocolate eclair topped with haunted buttercream and crunchy purple candied pearls. And this was $5.49. All right, let's give this a try. Well. I can say it is definitely a chocolatey clear. I don't really notice or taste anything too different to make this kind of stand out. But I mean, it, it's pretty good. I don't know if I would go out of my way for this, but it is a uh, it's a good dessert to have at this quick service restaurant location. Also, the purple icing will dye your fingers, so be prepared. I just finished here at Pizza Rizzo, but here is Muppet Vision. But look at the line. This is not for Muppets, this is for Rise of the Resistance. Let's uh, hop in line and time it. So I believe the end of the line is back here. You weave it out a little bit, then you cross, then you weave it out, go by Muppets, weave in and out of Muppets, then you'll head back this way, through the queue line, and then inside. It says it's 150 minutes, so we'll see. Well, this is how long it took, but here we are. We're doing it, I made it. That was a very long wait but I'm glad I'm doing this because I love this ride. Red two, blue five, keep tight now. Let's get ready to make that jump to light speed on my mark. Aguadilla, Vera Tena. Black leader, we're picking up an unusual signal. Are you spotting anything? Yeah, I see it. We'll check it out. Raise the shields. We got company, first order of TIE fighters. We rock, we rock. I love this part of the queue line. It's so awesome, so immersive. I get chills. I still get chills when I walk through this part. Leave us. Yes, General. Enemies of the First Order, we will soon snuff out your meager resistance. You chose the wrong side, and now you will pay. The resistance prisoners. You have what I want. Resistance, we're here to rescue you. Let's go. Blue and red to the left. Then head down to the escape pod base. Those droids are programmed to return you to Batu. Hurry and don't get caught. Lieutenant Beck will guide you. Recruits, for your safety, stay seated with seatbelts securely fastened. Keep hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the transport and supervise your children. <laughs> Tell them it's a prisoner transfer. <laughs> Right. The probe droid. You're lucky it didn't spot you. Take those turbo lifts and stay out of trouble. Hey, you're not authorized. Wait, those are the prisoners. I see no 
evidence. Now! Found the alarm. All personnel to their stations. Sir, the prisoners have escaped. How brave. But ultimately hopeless. There's nowhere to run. I love riding Rise of the Resistance. That attraction is just one of a kind. It's awesome, and it was well worth that very long wait. I'm glad I waited. But I mean, I'm, I'm very happy Rise of the Resistance is now all standby. That way, everybody has a chance. It's fair for everybody. And you know, once Genie comes around with the individual Lightning Lanes, you now have that option to buy Lightning Lane if you don't want to wait in line. But I'm glad Disney finally made it standby. It was much needed. By the way, if you're planning on staying at the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser, you can now make those reservations. I did try on the first day, but on that first day, only DVC members and Club 33 members, I believe, could only make those first reservations for bookings. And that first day, it's, it's completely booked. It's full. Yeah, it definitely looks like it's about to rain, so I'm going to start heading out. Some more good news. The Indiana Jones Epic Stunt Tackler Show is returning on December 19th, 2021. There's Donald up there saying hello to everybody. All right, my friends, that's going to do it for today's video. I had a very fun day. The only two things I really had planned was to try the 50th anniversary treats and wait in the standby line for Rise of the Resistance and have a ride. Everything else was just a big bonus. I know the rumor last week was the parks weren't very busy at all, but I would say this week and over this last weekend, the parks have been extremely busy. And the next month, people from Europe can travel back to the state. So I think around Christmas time and Thanksgiving time, the parks are really going to pick up as far as crowds, but that's good because that's a sign that life is returning back to normal after all this time. So it's good to see the parks getting back to how they used to be. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember, it's nice to be nice in YouTube. I'll see you in the next video. Prince Charming, out. This video is sponsored by Mickey Travels. If you're looking to book your next Disney vacation, go get your free quote today from mickeytravels.com as they never charge you anything to book your next Disney vacation. And they are one of the select few travel agencies in the world that are platinum earmarked by Disney themselves. Go visit my friends down in the description. Click on the link for your next Disney vacation. I am feeling lonely in a room and it's time to end the ride. They need to slowly over those can lift me up this time. You were the only one who got me tripping up inside.